I'm Kip Ludwig. I am the Associate Director at the Mayo Neural Engineering Laboratories. I've been at Mayo for about a year, and I run a research lab in what's called bioelectronic medicines, which are small wireless implantable devices to interface with the nervous system to manipulate end organ function. So neuromodulation has always had these incredibly powerful effects to treat patients that were non-responsive to drugs. You'll see patients who have tremors so bad that it dramatically impacts their quality of life and it almost seems like a magic solution we don't understand where you can turn on a device that delivers a little current to specific areas in your brain and suddenly in some cases the patients get completely better and some patients they get partially better but we didn't understand it well and the difficulty and really the promise right now is that we didn't have the tools to understand it. We couldn't see the current. We couldn't measure um, what we were doing. We just knew it worked well in some patients. It kind of works in others. But right now, thanks actually largely to groups like Enscopix and other groups, we have the ability to better understand, not just in small animal models, but now in large animal models, how these devices are working. And then we don't have the access to all the tools we want to use to understand the human brain, but there's this nexus of understanding that we need to work with industry and surgeons and et cetera and take the opportunities that we have in animal models and supplement them for human relevance. It's an incredibly exciting time. I don't think right now we have the technology to understand in human beings, in real time, with high spatial resolution, exactly what these circuits are doing. We have because of the, the difficulties in making things that are truly safe for human use and have no invasiveness to them, it takes a while to translate things we can already do in animal models to human beings. Um, so the, there's always been a little bit of a disconnect between the people who are getting human data using tools that have less resolution and the people who are using these fantastic high resolution tools. We've made the mistake of what's called serial translation where we try to make the best therapy in animals, and then we go to human beings expecting it to work immediately and not anticipating the difference. That's why I'm actually really excited to be here at the summit and seeing people from industry and nonprofits and basic scientists talking so that we can create parallel translation. So instead of things going from a mouse to human beings 15 years later, and then we understand, oh, the mouse didn't perfectly represent this disease, and then we go back and it's another 15 years, is to create this, this parallel translation where we're doing all the studies and talking to each other in real time. And I think that is going to be necessary for us to, for it to be no longer 20 years from proof of concept to something that gets out to patients on a large scale and get that down to five or 10 years. Mm -hmm.